Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of the Anxious Resistance. Today I'm going to be talking about Raylar or Cariprazine, which is one of the newest antipsychotic medications on the market. It has several indicated uses including bipolar disorder, schizophrenia, and augmentation therapy for major depressive disorder. Raylar is supposed to be superior than other atypical antipsychotics by having less severe side effects. Raylar is said to have less impact on weight gain compared to other antipsychotics. Unlike most antipsychotics, it is approved for use in major depressive disorder. So what is the history of Raylar? Raylar was developed by Giadon Richter and was approved for use in the United States in September 2015. Currently, it is available as a generic medication. So how does Raylar work? Raylar acts similarly to other atypical antipsychotics such as aripiprazole and brexpiprazole, also known as Abilify or Rexulti. It is a partial agonist or activator of the D2 dopamine receptor. It also has agonist or activating actions on the D3 receptor and the serotonin 5-HT1A receptor, as well as a blocking action at the serotonin 5-HT2A receptor. Since it is only a partial agonist of the D2 and D3, this can account for the less weight gain on Vralar, or at least this is what they think contributes to the lessened weight gain on Vralar. So what are some side effects that you could get on Vralar? Side effects include, but may not be limited to, fatigue, pyrexia, extrapyramidal symptoms, akathisia, headache, somnolence, dizziness, agitation, insomnia, restlessness, anxiety, the list goes on. And if you want the full list of side effects, check out the article at our website, which will be linked in the description. Okay, so what is extrapyramidal symptoms? And also what is tardive dyskinesia? You may have heard of that before, but these are both side effects of atypical antipsychotics and typical antipsychotics as well. With all antipsychotic medications, there is a potential for developing EPS or extrapyramidal symptoms and TD or tardive dyskinesia. EPS is involuntary uncontrollable movements. These movements are typically something like lip smacking or pill rolling or uncontrollable twitches. EPS can be treated with the medication cogentin or benztropine. However, EPS symptoms can become permanent. When they become permanent, this is called tardive dyskinesia. This is why it is important that you report to your prescriber immediately if you develop these symptoms. They can be treated but you need to catch them before they become permanent. Just be on the lookout for these things. They usually don't occur unless you're on super high doses for very long periods of time. And again, they're not permanent if you catch them early and they can also be treated with medication. If you are in need of use of an antipsychotic medication, please do not let that dissuade you from using it. As with other antipsychotic and antidepressant medications, Vralar carries a black box warning. It has the potential chance of death in patients with dementia related psychosis. So this is not recommended to be used for those with dementia. Dementia. Raylar can increase suicidal ideation and increase the risk of suicide, so report any new or worsening depression to your prescriber immediately. Okay, many people who are taking this are already depressed, but you need to report anything that's new or worsening, particularly if you don't have any triggering events. Like there's nothing in your life that's happened that you can attain the worsening to, other than perhaps the medication. Okay, so with atypical antipsychotics, there is withdrawal or discontinuation syndrome from coming off of antipsychotics, and this is true in the case of Raylar. Like other antipsychotics, do not stop taking Vralar suddenly, as this can result in discontinuation syndrome. Symptoms of withdrawal from an antipsychotic medication include agitation, anxiety, worsened depression, headache, dizziness, muscle aches and pain, diarrhea, and nausea. So come off slow, come off with your prescriber's instruction. That's the best way to keep yourself from developing severe discontinuation syndrome. So what are some positives or pros of Raylar? Raylar is approved for use in major depressive disorder, unlike most atypical antipsychotics. Vralar has decreased potential for weight gain compared to other antipsychotic medications, which is a big deal to a lot of people who take these kind of medications. You especially, most of the time you need this. When you're at this, this point, you need this medication to help you. And if you're gonna put on 50 pounds, it's gonna be really discouraging. So it is good to go for medications that maybe have that lessened weight gain potential. Something else that's positive about Raylar is it is available as a generic medication. 
and should be covered by most insurance companies at this point. Vralar may be a great option, especially for those who are looking for an add-on treatment for depression. What are some negatives or cons of Vralar? Vralar is still an antipsychotic medication and has a plethora of side effects. You must be very careful with the black box warnings on this medication. You must watch for extra pyramidal symptoms and tardive dyskinesia, as well as increased suicidal ideation. So please be aware, watch for those things. So what is our overall take of the medication Vralar? Vralar shows a lot of potential with its lessened weight gain. Weight gain is one of the biggest reasons that people stop antipsychotic treatment, especially in those taking antipsychotics for depression. Weight gain from antipsychotics is often not dose dependent, so it doesn't matter if you're on a really low dose of Vralar or a really high dose, if you have the side effect, you're going to have the side effect. Vralar works for its intended indications of schizophrenia, bipolar, and depression. Overall, Vralar may be a great option if you're looking for an antipsychotic with less weight gain and less sedation. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you learned something, if you enjoyed it, please like the video, subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more about antipsychotic medications or anything else related to mental health. And thank you so much for watching.